Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite vitamins, and that is vitamin D. And we're talking about the surprising benefits that you may not know about vitamin D. Hi, I'm Dr. Mikey Yu, board certified integrative rheumatologist, and today we're going to be talking about vitamin D. Vitamin D is one of the most underrated vitamins, and it's not talked about enough. In this video, I'm gonna explain to you why it should be one of the top vitamins that you should be aware of and maybe even supplement yourself with because your levels may not be high enough. And after this video, you'll probably be wanting to ask your doctor to get a vitamin D check on yourself because it plays so many vital roles in the body. My question for you is how many times has your doctor checked your vitamin D? And when they checked it, did they tell you to supplement it or did they just leave it alone? Vitamin D has a lot of crucial functions in the body that we need to pay close attention to. Too often, I see patients coming to my clinic and their doctors never ran a vitamin D check on them. And when I check it, sometimes it's really low to the point where it's very minimal in the body. And these patients are having a lot of joint pain and other problems going on that sometimes vitamin D itself can fix. I check vitamin D at least once a quarter, if not once every six months in my office. Now, every patient's vitamin D level can change with the food you eat, sun exposure, as well as the supplements you take as well. So there's a lot of factors that can shift vitamin D levels. With that said, let's talk about some of the surprising benefits of vitamin D. And I'll be listing four in this video. Number one, did you know that vitamin D is crucial to your immune system? When you have low levels of vitamin D, it's hard for your body to fight infections and have the immune system working at an optimal level. And did you know that if you have an autoimmune condition, that having a low level of vitamin D can lead to more flares of multiple sclerosis, lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, and many other autoimmune conditions? Yes, there are vitamin D receptors on our immune cells. So when your vitamin D is supplemented or you take it from the sun, there are receptors on the cell itself that will, it's like a puzzle piece, they lock together and that's what makes vitamin D work in the body. But you have vitamin D on your immune cells. So if you have a very low level of vitamin D, your immune system isn't working at its optimal level. I always check vitamin D levels on my patients, especially since I'm a rheumatologist. I see a lot of autoimmune diseases. I work with the immune system every day. I have to make sure that the patient is at least normal in their body, if not high normal. Also, with vitamin D, it's crucial to help your body fight inflammation. With a low level of vitamin D, your body can have more inflammation. And there are studies that prove it, such as the one here that you see on the screen. Number two surprising benefit of vitamin D is it helps regulate the gut microbiome. You've probably heard of gut health. That's all the rage these days. Everyone is talking about gut health, leaky gut. Well, did you know that there's vitamin D receptors in your gut and when you have low vitamin D levels it can lead to something called gut dysbiosis which means that the bad gut bugs are overwhelming the good gut bugs and there's an imbalance there and you don't want that to happen and there are many ways to create gut dysbiosis but one way that we're going to talk about in this video is from a low vitamin D level that's why you want to make sure your vitamin D levels are normal. And having gut dysbiosis and a leaky gut can lead to more inflammation. So the gut microbiome here ties back into part one, where I talk about how low vitamin D levels can lead to more inflammation. This is just another pathway to leading more inflammation because the place that your food travels down in the gut is called the gut lumen. And right next to that is your immune system. So when you eat food, Whatever you eat is gonna interact with the immune system, but having a low vitamin D level can cause more inflammatory pathways to occur through food, viruses, and bacteria. So you gotta be careful and make sure the vitamin D levels are normal in the body. So the third surprising benefit of vitamin D is that it regulates bone health. So if you've heard of osteopenia and osteoporosis, these are diagnoses related to thinning of the bones. And you get that as you age, or even at a younger age, it especially happens to women in their menopause years because the estrogen levels drop and this hormone is tied directly to bone health. 
but so does vitamin D. And did you know that vitamin D is a hormone as well? Vitamin D is really important for bone health because it helps with calcium absorption. So if you have low vitamin D levels in your body, it will decrease calcium absorption through the gut. And it also regulates something called the parathyroid hormone as well. So the parathyroid hormone, calcium, and vitamin D are in a balance. So when one is off, it affects the other two, and that does affect bone health. One of the first supplements I put patients on when they have osteoporosis and they see me in my clinic is vitamin D. I make sure that the vitamin D level is at an adequate level. Now, calcium, you can get that through food easily. Vitamin D, not so much. That's why it's more important to supplement vitamin D versus calcium. And number four surprising benefit of vitamin D is that it can help protect against cancer. Now, everyone is getting cancer these days, and it's really unfortunate. I believe it's the environmental toxins that we're exposed to and the ultra-processed food and the stress that we're dealing with these days. That's why we're getting an increased risk of cancer even at a younger age. But did you know that vitamin D at a low level has been linked to an increased risk of colon, breast, and even prostate cancer? Now, this doesn't surprise me as a rheumatologist because cancer is a disease of inflammation. It's tied directly to the immune system. And what did we say earlier that affects the immune system? That's a very important vitamin, and that is vitamin D. Vitamin D also affects inflammation, and thus it can affect cancer as well. And not only that, vitamin D is really important for cell growth and cell differentiation. So the growth of a cell does depend on vitamin D as well. So low levels of vitamin D can be detrimental to the immune system and potentially lead to higher risk of cancers. Now there are other benefits of vitamin D that I did not get to in this video that I'll talk about later in the future. But I just wanna let you know that vitamin D is really important. I myself, I supplement vitamin D as well and I try to get it normal as much as I can. Now I know it can be hard to take supplements but sometimes sun exposure isn't enough and getting too much sun exposure can lead to skin cancer as well. So some patients, they just don't get enough absorption of vitamin D from the sun. So that's why they need a supplement, vitamin D. So of course you can get vitamin D through food, which we'll talk about next time. But I want to thank you for joining me in this episode. If you like this video and you learned something new about vitamin D, please hit the like and subscribe button and comment below on what else you want to hear from me in the future. All right, I'll see you guys next time.